When you're giving a presentation, you often want to print out your slides and give them as handouts to your audience. Let's have a look at the different printing options available in PowerPoint 2010. Now, what we need to do is we need to go backstage. So I'm going to click on the file menu. And then I've got the option of print. I can choose the number of copies I want to make. I can choose which printer I'd like to print it to. And I can choose, do I want to print all the slides? Just print the current slide. Or do I want to specify a specific range? For example, 1 to 3, comma, 4, comma, 7. And then it will only select the slides that I've just put in here. You'll notice that at the very bottom, I've got next page. Because when you're looking at the print preview, it actually is showing you everything that we'd be printing out. And it's very useful, whereas in early PowerPoint, you used to have to print out everything before you actually know what you're going to get. It's a very, very useful function. Let's just clear that so we're printing out everything. Print all slides. Let's look at the different layouts we can have. So first of all, we could have a full page slide. You can see now in the bottom I have all slides, 21 slides, and I can just have a look what they're going to look like. I also could go to a notes page. The notes page is for a trainer or a presenter. You will notice there are some words underneath this slide and no words under the next lot of slides. And the reason is, is because underneath the slide, if we go back and have a look at it, here in the trainer notes section, I've put a few words. If I want to update the next slide, more trainer notes, and then go backstage again, you will see that there is the more trainer notes that I've just put in there. So very useful. We have the outline, rarely used, haven't seen it used myself, but it's an option. One of the most common handouts I've seen is the three slides with lines for attendees to make their own notes. But if we want to, we can have multiple slides. We can choose to print on both sides, to have it as a book or to have it as a flip. We can choose to collate the slides. We can choose to have it as landscape or portrait. Or if we're concerned about using up all our color ink, we could make it grayscale or pure black and white. We also have the ability to add a header and footer. This is very useful. We can put a date and time. You can automatically choose the date and time and you can see it's in the top right. I can put the header, a presentation about my family. And I can also put a footer by Graham. And as soon as I press apply to all, you'll see it now has appeared in the right hand side. So great ways to print a presentation. One of the other ways that we haven't talked about is saving it as a PDF. You can save it as a PDF and then print the PDF. That's another way of providing the slides to your audience. And also, if you provide a PDF, remember, then you're not wasting a lot of paper with printouts. If I want to save it as a PDF, I could just click Save As and choose the PDF option. Another way, I can come backstage, save and send, and choose Create PDF. So many ways of printing out your presentation to give to your audience, all taking place from a backstage area.